Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Pitter Patter Pop. Today we are here with two brand new unit showcases. Because if you saw, uh, if you saw my polls on Quillbrush channel, he posted our banner polls because me, him, and Renty did a collab. Uh, I got the new cat coin, and then on stream I actually pulled another cat coin, and then off stream I also pulled Voice Vanilla Ice. So. uh I want to showcase these two units for a video because they're really fun together. I really like them, but more importantly, they are cracked out the wazoo. Okay, I have 71 million with the team, and I'm only 70th. I have a low score. The high scores, 300 million with this new team, which is insane. Now, obviously, to get that high, they've got to be full awakening. But they are really busted. They, they're they insane. On my Before You Summon, I couldn't, I said I couldn't quite tell if you should summon or not. Now, I can go ahead and say, I was an idiot. Summon. Please summon. These guys are really good. They are unbelievably strong. But you don't expect to get like 300 million unless you fully awaken them, which I haven't. I just have my Kakyoin to level 60 and my Vanilla Ice to level 50. Because I'm trying to save gems. I don't really care about Awakening as long as I get cool units. So I'm pretty happy just to pull them once or twice. I don't need to pull them four times to be happy. So yeah, uh, I guess I'll describe their skills actually before I go into the uh, gameplay. So basically, how these guys work uh, is I'll talk about Kakyoin first. Kakyoin erases that little area that you see there he erases that and if he erases an intensified panel or a block panel he will do the loop again he will erase that same area a second time so what you'll end up doing is if you're using voice vanilla eyes whose skill i'll get to in a minute Kakuin will erase he'll hit an intensified block he'll erase he'll hit an intensified block he'll erase he just does it over and over and over and over and over and it's so good and he can repeat his ability up to five times so he can get six total erases which is really good so he's super solid and his multiplier is really good he does a lot of damage and then coming over to voice vanilla ice this guy people were hard sleeping on this guy people thought he was garbage people were saying awful things about this man's and he proved them all wrong he walked in and started throwing down. So his ability is when you use his skill, he will grab a certain amount of color cheer panels, or not cheer panels, the colored panels. So you can see mine's SL3. So he's gonna grab three out of the six panels on the board and then he'll work those like Shigechi where he pulls them to the bottom. And for each clump that he pulls to the bottom, he will intensify two of them. So for SL3, he will Let's say he'll grab Kakyoin panels, pull them down, intensify two of them. He'll grab Vanilla Ice panels, pull them down, intensify two of them. Then let's say he just, he'll pull another character's panels, pull them down, and intensify them. Which makes him really good at higher skill levels like skill level 4 and especially skill level 5 because he will intensify basically the entire board almost. Not the entire board, but he'll intensify 12 panels, which doesn't sound like a lot. But with how the new Kakyoin works, that's really good because he's also going to spread out those intensified panels, which is necessary. But then, after you've used his ability for the next three seconds, I think. I think it's three seconds, but it might actually be less. I think it's like one or two. For some reason, the number three just sounds right to me, but I don't think it's actually three. But for the next so many seconds, falling intensified block panels spawn. Which sounds awful, and that was the exact reason why people thought this guy was really bad. Because if you use them with V Fortero in one time stop, half your board is just going to be taken away from you. But with the new Kakyoin, that's suddenly a good thing. Because you want blocks to fall into Kakyoin's range. It's really good. So yeah, that's really the, it on their uh, skills. I'm just going to take them into a... You know, I'll do the score attack. We'll, we'll see if we can pop off in a score attack here. I probably won't be able to. Because I'm actually not very good at this team. But we'll do it just so I can show them off. Oh, I don't have my parties enabled anymore. And there goes a lot of cheer damage. Because I also have a level 60 high deal. 
So, but these guys are really fun. I was actually really wanting Vanilla Ice before, like, he even became super busted. Like, I just wanted him because I really like Vanilla Ice, so I was really sad when I didn't get him. And then the other day, I was just pulling. I was like, you know what? It's probably worth it, man. So I did a multi, and it was dead. And I was really sad, and I was like, okay, I'll do one more multi and just see what happens. And on my last multi, boom, got him. I was so happy. So as you can see, those falling block panels are appearing, and Kaki Wayne's just going to town. Telling Vanilla Ice what's up. And then, oh, I forgot to explain that. And then he will spawn enhanced Kakuin panels, and the amount he spawns depends on the amount of times uh, Kakuin repeated his skill. So basically, the more his skill goes off, the more intense, or uh, not intensified, the more enhanced panels he spawns at the end. And those in, uh, enhanced panels are so important for recharging him. Because otherwise, recharging him would actually be a pretty big problem he'd have. But he, he basically recharges himself. He's basically the new Fordera. Obviously, that's somewhat kind of an exaggeration, but it's also somewhat not. I think he actually does have potential to really walk up to V4 and just smack him. Just tell him, hey, you know, you're not the only unit that's allowed to be good in this game. Which is nice. I, I think it's a really good change of pace that we're getting a meta that doesn't even include a time stopper. Like, that's really rare nowadays in Pitter. So it's nice to see that the game's finally getting shaken up just a little bit. It's not like, uh... It's not like insane insane, but you know. I like that just we don't have to use v 4 for once. Ooh. Wasn't supposed to do that. But maybe the falling block panels will kind of save it. In fact, they might. But it's hard to say if they'll be like stu super good after the score attack. Because the score attack really caters to them in a couple ways. But my bet is they'll still be like a team you'll see in top 100 decently frequently. I'll, I have a hard time believing that they're going to fall off. Because they just work so well together. And I really love the new Kekki one, by the way. I wasn't actually super uh, excited for him. Like, I was excited, but I wasn't like, oh, this is my most wanted unit. And then I pulled him on my first multi, and I was like, well... A nice. Felt really awful though because uh, Renty wanted him probably the most out of everyone who summoned. And uh, he's the only one out of the three of us who summoned who didn't get him. So I feel really bad for Renty. Because he, he was just really sad about not getting him. Which is a big feels bad because he really deserved the character. I was literally just dogging on the unit constantly, and then the guy who actually wants- Oh, come on. It was a 4 by 4 And then the guy who actually wanted him just can't get him. Ooh, that's a combo drop. I'm not going for a high score here. I'm not, like, try-harding. I say that, but that's really just my excuse for doing bad. Because I'm still not very good at this team. Because mainly Vanilla Ice really needs to be skill level. Like, a higher skill level. Look at that. I didn't get all the uses, so now I have to- Suffer. Ooh, and I thought I was going to reach stand-up. It's pretty hard to showcase this team just because, like, like I said, I don't have them full awakened, so I can't, like, hit the crazy scores that people are able to hit. And then, uh, even then, I don't have them at a high enough skill level to make them super good. Or, Kakyoin's, like, it is pretty much best. Like, only his cooldown will get slightly better. But Vanilla Ice is really weak for me. Because he's only SL3, and he definitely wants to be, like, at least 4 to make him super usable. Like, you can see how much damage, like, just imagine the damage I'm going to do in, like, the first hit here. Like, let's see how much it does. One, one, one and a half million, basically. With a higher SL Vanilla Ice, you do that, like, six times. So you're basically doing, like, nine mil in one hit. Then you got stand-up to deal with, which you can usually get. If you make a 4x4, four four, you'll get about a million. It's just, it's bonkers. It's actually bonkers how good these guys are. Especially Villain Allies. I think he was overlooked anyways. Because I think like he'll work well with characters like Mista. Or any character who like, targets block panels. Or Drawn on Mista, actually, for that fact. Actually, they'd probably be really good. Because the, they fall down. 
But now he has his perfect partner, so these guys work really well together. And it's nice. It's really cool that they're getting... Oh, there's a big one. See, that's what you love to see. Big damage on the field. I just love these guys so much, man. I'm so happy. I'm especially happy that I got Vanilla Ice. I was really sad when I didn't get Vanilla Ice. Because I really wanted him. Because I'm a big fan of Vanilla Ice. And his animation is really cool. I like his lines. It's like the way he's just zooming around and then he just comes out of the uh, comes out of green. I really like that. And then this is probably we might be able to get one more use off. As you can see, I'm nowhere near my high score. I don't know what happened on that high score run where I just like awakened myself. I think I also just had way better luck with the uh, the characters. Like, I'm not having, like, stellar luck right now. Vanilla Ice said it wanted to be mean to me. He messed me up. Yeah, I might be able to get one more here. Uh, I don't see any quick panels to match. Ooh, I choked. Ooh! Oh, come on, I have to hit Calculator in, like, frame one. Ah, I couldn't get him quick enough. Dang it, man. But 42 million, and that's a bad run. 42 million is on a bad run. Like, normally that's a pretty high score. Like, I think the last score attack, like, I think I was like, I think I was about the same damage last score attack. But it was way easier to get in top 100. But yeah, that's really these guys. They're super good. Uh, I'm really happy with them. So, uh, yeah, that's really it for this unit review. Uh, if you don't have these guys, I do recommend trying, but don't go broke because Golden Week is still coming up. But at the same time, I think it might actually be hard for them to outdo these units for Golden Week. These guys are really good. But uh, yeah, that's, a, that's it, everyone. Thank you for stopping by for the video. It means so much to me. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.